Four times, NFL supporters went too far, setting cars on fire and sliding down poles, but crowds were immense. First, a fan did something stupid and is facing five months in prison for a bet. After betting $2,000 around the field, he did this and was arrested for disturbing the peace. This guy was stupid. Our next fan was crazy touchdown man cool out. Jesus, Grandpa got clean. Going too far it is what old heads do. Because one fan traded his house for NFL tickets. I was intrigued by this sign. I sold my house to acquire Super Bowl tickets. To acquire the SSLs on the 50-yard line for $100,000 each. I sold my house. NFL tickets for $200,000. Their situation was dire. One TikTok fan was even sadder since they danced on a dead player's memorial. The younger brother of NFL standout Patrick Mahomes is Jackson Mahomes. After posting inappropriate movies on TikTok and other media for years, this person has gone viral. Despite seeing what the hell. However, Jackson got viral for the wrong reasons in 2021. That's why Patrick and the Chiefs were in Washington to fight the Commanders. Jackson filmed a tic-tic of himself dancing on an NFL Legends memorial while on the sidelines. Social media users demanded Jackson's head. Later that day, sought to apologize on Twitter. The damage was done, and Jackson has been vilified ever since. With social media ubiquitous, fans should be more wary. However, we had guys like our next fan, who robbed banks for NFL tickets. Chief Superfan Chief Saholic has dressed as a werewolf and rallied fans before games for years. The championship game has been the focus of this season. He accompanied the Chiefs everywhere. Chief Saholic traveled from state to state to cheer him on every road game. All Chiefs supporters knew him by 2022. But suddenly, somebody noticed something all. The Chiefs played the Texans in Houston on Sunday, December 18. That crowd entered the stadium. Chief Saholic was absent from Kansas City. Fans immediately searched Twitter for his whereabouts, thinking he was safe. They discovered something awful. Chief Saholic, Xavier Michael Babudar, a career criminal disguised as a wolf, loves the Kansas City Chiefs more than Red. Extreme more than X Factor was captured stealing a Texas bank with a gun on Friday. He was arrested for reportedly stealing a bank as a wolf. If convicted, Chief Saholic faces at least 10 years in prison, making it even crazy. I don't think Chief Saholic is leaving. The next fans were, as two got off in the bathroom at a Philadelphia Eagles game, See Panthers games? A touchdown right there. The fans aren't the only ones getting dirty. In 2022, one fan attended to the Super Bowl to streak. He's no longer pursued. He runs down the middle of the 40 with arms raised in victory, pulling down his pants. Put off your pants, God. Raise your pants. Chase to 30. Breaks a security guard's tackle at 20. Midway through 10, the five. They surround him at the goal line after he falls at one. Put on your pants. Remove the paw and be man. The hell. He wore a bra. He wanted tackle. Streaking is wild, but it becomes twisted beyond that. One Bengals fan became homeless because of his love. The 2019 Bengals started the season with four straight losses. Everyone said they were trash and would lose. However, one fan disapproved. Die Bengals.